Hello, Brett. It is I, Dr. Edward Richthofen. I wanted to tell uh, people that I will feed them to the Stumpies if they do not follow Red Loberton because it is all the stuff that anyone needs to know about Call of Duty Zombies is with Red Loberton. That's right. And they must do it. They must do it now. Nein! Do it now! How's it going, guys? It's me, Red Loberton. Here I am with some Gorod Crovey gameplay. Black Ops 3 Zombies. To be honest, this is probably my second favorite Zombies map of all time. I just grabbed the Dragon Wings right there, which reduce fire damage. This is the furthest I've ever made it on the map. You're about to see some gameplay of me using the little baby dragon. See? It's a little flamethrower. It's such a sick weapon. That's why I got my little man, baby, <laughs> this is my little baby dragon, uh, dart. I just got the trophy right there. What Whoa, he's, he's jumping. Whoa, he's all crazy. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh, I love the little man. It's okay, man. I just thought it would be fun. Look, that's just, that's me and you. This is me about to start the challenges. There's six challenges you got to complete. It'll give you a random one each time, and this time I got the Armored Zombie Challenge. Usually he spawns over in the tank area. And there's the big boy. See, so he's got green eyes, and then the zombies are over here, too. You gotta be careful about that, especially trying to do it solo. I almost went down right there. Which is what the shield is perfect for. To get out of sticky situations like that. And the nuke came in clutch. But yeah, you know. You gotta shoot his arm cannon off. And once you do that, he'll get angry. And he'll start chasing you. Pretty fast. Which is good. Because he, he does run faster than most of the zombies. And then you can... Uh, bring him over to this platform and he'll get sucked up taken away with the dragon wings you can just teleport straight over to the um, hatchery which is where the pack bunch is and yeah I'm upgrading the ray gun mark 3 and now it's red and beautiful going into the sewer back to the start Alright, so now we're on to the next challenge, which is the Graf Module Drop. Basically, you'll see this green beam in the sky. You gotta run towards it as fast as possible. You know the drill. And it lands somewhere like outside of the map. So you gotta try to snipe the zombies as best you can. This is one of the easier challenges in my opinion. Because luckily they don't attack you from behind or anything as this is all going on. Especially with the Raygun Mark III, all you got to do is, you know, s suck them into the Vortex and you're good. I've also found that Stamina Up is one of the most helpful perks on this map if you're trying to, comp like, do the Easter Egg. Because there's a lot of running around you got to do. At the beginning, you gotta spin these little dials to different numbers and stuff. It's kind of confusing, but I'll leave a link to the Crenorium in in the description of this video, so you can really figure out how to do it. But yeah, just gotta send one of those robot drones over to the generator in the hatchery, make them electrify it. And then, uh, yeah, that's when you get to that step where you spin the little dials. But yeah, this is after all that. I just thought we might as well skip to the, you know, the real adrenaline pump and gameplay. Plus, there goes my little baby dragon. I feel such pride raising such a helpful little child. He brought, he'll bring back like the data chip or whatever it is. 
and you gotta bring it back to the um, Sophia robot. All right, drop it inside, and you're good. It's as simple as that. This is okay. This is my least favorite challenge. I will tell you that. I would highly recommend uh, running with the gumball undead man walking because it will make your life uh, ten times easier. It lasts four minutes and it slows all the zombies down so they're just walking. You gotta walk this damaged Valkyrie drone all the way to the uh, Sophia. And like, it's pretty slow. It's a pretty slow robot. See, that's why you gotta make the zombies walk. Walking this thing all the way there, it feels like you're a boy scout walking a robotic grandma across the street. Literally, if you hit it with one single bullet, it will explode. And that's the most frustrating part about it. I just had to kill off some of these zombies in the way. But other than that, we're golden. By the way, I gotta show you guys this Dungeons and Dragons chalice. It's pretty dope. I mean, it. Especially while we're playing this and there's dragons flying around and shit. Alright, on to ch the next challenge. Challenge 4. You need to pack a bunch of weapon to complete this. This part is a little difficult. You gotta find a glowing orb randomly around the map. And shoot it. And, uh, you know, then he'll fly away. And you gotta chase him down. You just gotta listen for it, really. See, there he is. And then he starts talking. And then, yeah, he'll just zip away. You can try to follow his trail. That's the thing I've found to be the easiest. There he is. Oh, he's getting away. After you shoot him a good amount of times, He'll get frustrated, and he'll just be like, Hey, man, what do you want from me? And he, you, your character will be like, Just fly to the dragon command, and, you know, I'll chill. And then she starts torturing the orb. Some shit. I don't know. It's pretty crazy. Anyway, it's not our concern. This one, okay. I recommend pausing and writing d down exactly what it tells you on the screen, okay? It's different every time, and you gotta um, do it in under three minutes. In this case, for me, we got Dragon, Department Store, Tank Factory, Infirmary, Armory, Supply Depot, okay? So yeah, I gotta run, hit these buttons in that order. I'll show you the locations. The f dragon commands location is up the stairs to the left. There's the, the the department store is under the stairs. Like right after you enter from the starting room. The gauntlet of Siegfried, bro. To be honest, this is like one of my favorite wonder weapons in Call of Duty Zombies history. If you can consider it a wonder weapon. I'm, I know it's a specialist weapon, but... Alright, the one in the tank factory is in the left little room on the side. The button in the infirmary is on the staircase, like, coming out of the underground. The button in the armory is next to this, um, Wonder Fizz machine. And the button in the supply depot is right after you enter that saves you from being blown to smithereens, which nobody wants that, you know? And then, um, yeah, after completing that, I took a chance at the gobble gum machine. And I got crate power, which makes it so you can pack a punch the next weapon out of the mystery box automatically. And once you do those five challenges, it will make you do this challenge this is always gonna be your last challenge you take that key card and uh you got to go back to the hatchery once you get there you got to put that little chip into this computer in the back here so yeah do that it'll it's gonna start downloading and yeah you got to defend yourself 
but also you don't want to kill every single one of these um, big boys because if you do then you fail this challenge as far as the trophy locations go to get to this point um, one will spawn in that toilet right there one spawns on a statue in their hand like outside of dragon command another right outside of supply depot drop a dragon strike on a puddle you're good uh, again in supply depot uh, you gotta use the robot eye beam trap and then a trophy will be in the floor there the other one is in the tank station you gotta use your shield on a window and it will fly out all right and then once the download is complete um, you can take it out of there but first you gotta kill this dude yeah take it out of the machine all right now you gotta grab a uh, power core for her which is back in the starting room once you get back to the starting room you gotta let out your little dragon dude and uh, you gotta find like the exact right spot otherwise he'll just start attacking things but yeah send him out like over here that's where I did it and he'll fly off into the sunset and then you'll hear Nikolai start spewing off his drunk nonsense like he always does. Yeah, before I went to do the boss fight, I wanted to get monkey bombs. Because I just wanted to have all the advantages I could. And remember, I had the crate power gobble gum. Which means I have a pack-a-punch monkey bomb. So yeah, he's got a little bit of a deeper voice now. And he's over there glowing red. Playing some dubstep music now. It's pretty dope that you can do that. Also, take it in plain sight with you because you're going to want it. As you can see, she's disassembling herself. And then she'll move out of the way. That little gate right there is your ticket to the dragon boss fight. Alright guys, before we head into the boss fight, I have an exciting dragon design flying onto T Public now. It's called Drunk Dragons, you know. It's like Spyro and Toothless um, having a party. So far, from what I know, Activision and Universal are very open as far as artists, you know, having the ability to express themselves and uh, sell merch and stuff, which is amazing. Thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. I'm sure other artists appreciate it as well. Yeah, you can get this as a shirt in multiple colors, you know. You can get it as a mug, a pillow. And while you're there, check out my other designs. They have sales going on there a lot, so keep your eye out for that as well. All these designs are very affordable, and I'm sure you'll find something you love. Now, one thing I wish I did before I went is... Uh, switch out my shield for a fully repaired one because uh you'll see you'll see what happens but i gotta say like this little area right here running around it's kind of fun like even if you don't want to do the boss fight it, it could be fun just to run around this area it's very open a lot of training possibilities look at how many zombies there are chasing me but yeah in order to actually Activate the boss fight. You gotta press the button in the center there. And there's Nikolai in his mech suit Looking like an absolute boss. See I also just kind of wasted that in plain sight to be honest which You know, oh well I'm a human I make mistakes But yeah fire is gonna be everywhere once you get to this section so Having the shield is a must. There's only a few like tiny little trenches in the corner without any fire there's the dragon let's take him out gotta try to shoot the highlighted orange sections while obviously avoiding the zombies Nikolai is helping you out here he'll shoot a harpoon at the dragon and at that point you know you can attack him harpoon him yeah man Dope. Let's take him out. Shoot his neck. Oh. Go for the dubstep monkey. Go for him. Oh, I almost died right there. That was scary. I 
I think I just killed the dragon. Did I? Yeah, I killed the dragon, bro. That's how you do it. Yeah, and this is where shit really went downhill for me. See, I, I was like, all right, pop it in plain sight. We got this right. Shoot the little yellow things. Okay. Okay. Nothing to worry about. I actually didn't even really know where to shoot after that, to be honest. Uh, I don't oh, well. But um, I like how you can hear the Russian national anthem in the background. It's funny. And then I noticed as I was going down where to shoot, which is on his shoulders. I was like, oh shit, bro. Are you kidding me? Max ammo time. That's my only glimpse of hope. I was like, monkey, go. Go for the monkey, please. Nope. Explosions everywhere. Dead. Yeah, and just like that, we were fucking dead. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? I was screaming. I was crying. I find I wasn't crying, but this was very traumatizing for me. But hey, look at on the bright side. We killed the dragon. That's pretty dope. And to be honest, that was my main goal. I let Nikolai live, okay? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later.